everybody, and welcome back to Grumble Plays. We're now a second season, we're playing Dishonored 2, and today we're on episode 5, The Royal Conservatory. We're paying a visit to Syria Gardens, and to Brianna Ashworth and Delilah's Coven of Witches. Um, the Royal Conservatory is a beautiful, beautiful museum, and, uh, you know, we're looking for conspiracy secrets and some information that might help us take Delilah down um, if you'll remember last time we freed Anton Sokolov from the clutches of Kirin Jindosh um, we can expect some fallout for that and uh, yeah let's see what we can do But first, we're contending with another strange visit. Hold on, there's lint on my monitor. There we go, not anymore. So, uh, let's see, we've collected some more, <gasps> collected some more uh, souvenirs. This is from the Clockwork Mansion. Um, if you, you know, if you kaput any of them, any of the Clockwork soldiers, uh, whether you're engaged in straight combat or, you know, whether you are sneaky and use stun mines, uh, you get to take a lovely little souvenir. So this is all looking normal, except my travelogue is gone again. Oh dear. Oh dear. Also, did, did you see that thing? Um, where... The uh, void, but somehow different this time. Uh, Sotheby's in Dubai, I believe, um, auctioned off a rock. Or, well, they said it's a it's a diamond, um, chemically, uh, that pretty much looks exactly like this. And, you know, scientists believe that it did come from outer space. So, we're just auctioning off void pieces. Well, you know, as the saying goes, you touched it and now you're in trouble. Now what is this? New void, who this? Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. Oh well, you know this might as well happen. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closer sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Coldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? So, someone... Oh, I gotta jump. Fine. Um... Oh, that's interesting. Delilah isn't... Right, I keep forgetting. Delilah doesn't let you use your powers in the void. Whereas the outsider does. Servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. 
Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good, next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me who did? We were just playing. I'm Lady Jessie. What's your account? It was her. Delilah's lying. She broke it. the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. No, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. There's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! The sentence is served and shall be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here. to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. Indeed. Um, I have absolutely no difficulty believing, though, that uh, Emperor Daddy couldn't keep it in his pants. When I was young... The Loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Yeah, so, like I said in an earlier episode, it's like... Oh. Even the boy, if only I could do more. Mother? That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I feel my time, time drawing to an end. end. Soon. Foreshadowing. Um, like I said, it's you know it, it kind of makes sense that for Emily Sokolov, you know, would just be the fun, outrageous uncle. Um, I, I don't know. I think we remembered maybe a little too well what he got up to during the Red Plague. He experimented on plague victims, telling them that he was working on a cure specifically for them and lying to them, oh yeah, you'll feel better tomorrow, when he knew exactly that within 24 hours they'd be dead. He was there the day that Jessamine died, and he, he well, for one thing, he ran, and then he ended up collaborating with Burroughs and Campbell. Um, you know, all of that wasn't in place while Jessamine was alive, because she never would have allowed it. But like the whale oil shortage in the first game only happened uh, like because Sokolov let Burroughs and Campbell use all of those uh, use all of those tools um, to like one make the city 
uh, near uninhabitable for you know its people, for its citizens, and also just to uh, to ward themselves, to fortify the, themselves against Corvo. Um, as soon as he got out, and like he just full on collaborated with a fascist regime um, when he didn't have to, because his own place on Caldwin's Bridge is fortified enough that he could have just, you know, locked himself in there and said, nah, I'm not working with you and you can't make me. He would have had enough clout um, and enough backing from a lot of, you know, rich aristocrats in Dunwall at the time to, like, if he'd openly opposed Burroughs, Burroughs would have been in trouble. Lila says student is the polite word for it. Sokolov is someone, like, in the first game, he took advantage of everybody he met. Um, and if, you know, if maybe through tutoring Emily, yeah, maybe, sure, he was kind to her. That's great. You know, he's, lots of horrible people are kind to kids. <laughs> like, you know, like, it bugged me when I first played Dishonored, and it still bugs me that, you know, Sokolov is just being painted as this, you know, like, eccentric, uh, eccentric genius when that's not that's not all there is to him yeah so reducing him to like being a genius and telling Emily funny stories is kind of eh. oh Megan something that I should say to your face but that's hard for me thank you for what you did his snoring cuts straight to the to the bulkhead. Yeah, it sure does. All right. The man spent years serving my family, educating me in both intellectual subjects and body humor. Yeah, I mean, if all of that is true, I mean, cool motive, still murder. Um, but you know. If she is Yuhorn's daughter, then yeah, she's got a claim. Like, I still wouldn't, like, can't pin it all on the kids. Christ. Okay. Friends. For a man of his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. <gasps> a letter from Lucia Pastor. We will meet her. stuff things good to see you're still with us thank you for helping Anton Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery I'll be good enough to leave soon there's a lot to do of course unless the Duke falls he'll undo my best efforts here then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. I wish there was something I could remember to help in your efforts. Megan is worried that someone will see us coming and going. I might depart soon. Anton and I are both in your debt. Okay, okay. What if we turn that on? Eh, nothing in there. There's 
there's things going on with Megan that she's not ready to tell us about yet. But she will, in time. Ah, the Empress has risen. A peaceful sleep, I hope. Nothing like the pillows at Dunwall Tower, made of goose feathers. Sit down when you want to talk. Okay. Delilah Copperspoon, or is it Caldwin? Jindosh won't be making his army of clockwork soldiers. One of the more elaborate structures in Karnaka, closed to the public. More of the Duke's questionable rulership. And look, they've got a big, big whale. Conservatory. This place was commissioned by my grandfather in my grandmother's name. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov. The greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge that I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to? There's a spark in your eyes, something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. Maybe I should begin a series of bloodfly related sketches, huh. infested corpses and the like. Huh. Why? I've never paid a visit to the Royal Conservatory, but allegedly it has a number of unique pieces. The familiar creaks and groans of the dreadful whale. I lie awake listening, just to remind myself I'm safe again. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Ashworth has an interest in the occult. That's a snotty way to put it. In another life, 
He might be facing me along with her. Head to the skiff when you're ready, Empress. Hint after hint after hint. Delilah's cult must be thrilled she's got the throne. But she wouldn't piss on them if they were on fire. Take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. While held captive, Anton Sokolov learned the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies, Brianna Ashworth. An architect of the coup that took the throne in Dunwall, Ashworth is powerful and full of secrets. It's why her hair is so big. She is building a mysterious device for Delilah. Brianna Ashworth must be eliminated. There will be a grand guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside. Be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Mabel. See you soon. Oh, she absolutely is. If you can find Byrne's spying setup, He's probably collected some useful notes about whatever Ashworth is up to. Brianna Ashworth is a true believer. She'll never turn away from Delilah. Delilah's coven crossed paths with my old gang 15 years back. It was a bad time. Keep your head down and you might avoid a bloodbath. I'll meet you back here when it's done. Your old king, huh? See anything? No. Mm -hmm. oh, that's hollow dust rather than. What's the point of buying wood from a country you never... Oh, am I boy. seeing things? Yes, you totally are. Kitoki. <laughs> Hoo-hoo, palaces don't make kings. Read further at your own peril, my friends, for the truth is a dangerous thing. Any inbred highborn or even the luckiest commoner can wind up living in a mighty tower with a fancy title before their name. See, that's funny. Because, um, well, I'm not sure about the inbreeding, but, you know, um, in the Caldwin family. But Corvo, 
is a lucky commoner who uh, wound up living in a mighty tower with a fancy title. That being Lord Protector. Those we consider to be made of finer material are in fact just as rough cut as the rest of us, guided by irrational terror and petty grievance. That, that Honestly, irrational terror and petty grievance could just be the tagline for the entire Dishonored series. Did Jessamine Caldwin deserve our respect, or did she deserve the knife? Was the former Duke Theodanus Abel a fine ruler, as some say? Well, good readers, that depends on your perspective. Are you the craftsman struggling to profit on your fine cabinets, or are you the woodsman selling your lumber for the highest price? Maybe, again, you're the local lawkeeper applying a tax to the woodcutting or the sale of the furniture. Truth is a variable. Consider Emily Caldwin, or her infamous father, royal protector Corvotano. How did the emperor fare beneath them, good or ill? And now it's Delilah, painter and some say occult figure. What will her time as empress bring you and me down on the streets? None of the snots living in a palace know anything about the dust district, even Lord Corvotano, despite being born here. Would he recognize the place now? And would we recognize him? Chiming in with what I said in an, in an early episode that um, it just it strikes me as as odd that you know Corvo wouldn't have what's this oh, it's just a plank um, you know when you know because in the briefing that. Megan first gives the player character and you know Emily's like well you know usually local authorities deal with that I think Corvo says the same thing I mean that you know Corvo never I don't know that way that you know also Corvo doesn't seem to know I see you've heard the stories about pirate Betty about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose? Help! Anyone help me! Or maybe I could sign my name across your forehead with a knife. Use you as a human billboard. Help! Murderer! <sighs> all right, no one's coming. What a bunch of cowards. We'll try it again later. Hmm? Who opened this door? Uh, that door's closed. We've learned sometimes they die. Fine. Can I? Oh, right. I'm already carrying one. Oh, God damn it, Grumble. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's make. Aw. OT3. Now. Eating the rat skewer today. Not today. Huh. 
<sighs> now this guy has loads in here, but I'm going to refrain. Welcome. Uh, don't worry, we are perfectly safe in my shop. Take your time. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See mm. anything you like? Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. This is literally the first time we've met, but fine. Okay, I do need sleep darts. Are there any... Hmm... I'm sure there's some dotted around the level. And there's definitely some in the Royal Conservatory. I'm gonna no get two. Need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, da 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 da. Safe combination, yes, please. And the rune. What should we get? Oops, that was jump. Pleasant surprise to see you again. I mean, I'm moving slowly generally, so I don't think we need reload speed at this point. Instant sleep dart, that is what we want. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. Don't need any of you. Let's get some more bone charm slots. Just because it's fun. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, especially. Welcome, welcome. Have you heard? I'm told they robbed one of our shops. I'd like to see them try it here. Well, once again, I would know nothing about that. No, sir. Can I get through there? No. <laughs> Disinfecting fluid for purifying the air of sick rooms. Fine quality. Huh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And shoes. And... What's that? Toothpaste? Yeah, I think it's... I mean, the way he's grinning, it's definitely for the teeth. Stuff? No. Now... We did just get a rune. After Shadow Walk, we need four. Okay. Question is, do I want Shadow Walk or am I happy with what I got? Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, going where we're going. Mm hmm. Let's see, extent duration. Yeah, because you kind of need both of those. Because um, it, it Mesmerize on its own is not really built for you to choke people out. Um, it's more for just distracting them for a little bit and to just get past unnoticed. Um, so if you want to, like... You know, if, if you do want to choke them all out as well, so that you don't have to bother with them anymore, you sh like it. It's easier if you also extend the duration, especially if you like you know get it in your head to <laughs> enthrall up to you up to four. Um, I'm gonna build out um, Domino first, especially for the conservatory. Mm -hmm. I can get rid of both of those. 
Okay. So we can't go through that thing. And if I remember correctly, that door is blocked. Yes, yes, yes. And we're not Corvo, so we can't possess any rats at this point. But... Let's see... Let's have some... Okay, we don't want them to hurt themselves. Close your extended, yes, yes. And then we set the alarm, and then we get under here. Emily, thank you. I think I'm extremely funny, yeah. Open this door. No one. Oh, she's coming from that side. I forgot. That's fine. Also coming that way. Okay. You'll be seeing the body any second now because I didn't move it. Come on. Now's not the time. <laughs> I love it when they just go, now's not the time for a nap. She's not napping, buddy. Number three. Yeah, 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 there's a third guard up there. stubborn. I, I always want the most use out of my stun mines. <laughs> to be open. <laughs> oh yeah. I oh, can't pick it up, so. Nah, it's too far away. Well, fine. Operation. Meaning stuff can break. And it's very funny if I'm the one breaking things. But first, hello.
Let's start. Let's get you to bed. Oh, Lovely pose. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Some of this bathing salt, if you don't mind. Tripwire. Oh. Lovely bread. Be incredibly rude and blasphemous. Can I pick those up? No. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, a note from Burn. The Aulas are my priority. This conflict with Paolo could affect our influence in Karnaka for years to come. Oh, buddy, you have no idea. Da, 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 Brianna Ashworth. Curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Oh. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward faith of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct. I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Huge, if true. All right. So this is all we need from here. Look at that. It's just gone. Taken right from under their houses. Huh. Idiots. <laughs> I love how they're all just like, huh, that's weird. That shouldn't be off. But, you know, sometimes they send someone off to look. And, you know, they get alerted and start running around, and other times, it's like, eh. It's like, that's odd. Like, yeah, sure is. <laughs> Boop. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. slowly starting to have a concern. Hmm. I hear someone just sleeping. I'm never sure if she actually wakes up. Sorry. Well, still not great for her neck, but 
Mine collapses. A representative from, from the miners family committee reports that another silver mine has partially collapsed, leaving eight miners injured and killing 12. The committee maintains that the Duke's unrealistic production goals were the true culprit, citing the overlong shifts that have been in practice since mine owner Aramis Stilton disappeared. However, the Grand Palace's official statement blamed the collapse on human error and threatened to arrest anyone found guilty of demoralizing the people of Karnaka. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, and then like this shit. We at the Karnaka Gazette certainly support the effort to maintain Sir Kono's unity. Yeah, so what you're doing is you're siding with the Duke. We get it. You know, like, the Kronaka Gazette is not in the habit of, you know, checking out the window to see if it's raining. They are not. Okay. Look who's here. Let's see. Ah, oh, not close enough. Fine. No prizes for guessing who they're waiting for. I'm not sure if I can... Well, let's just... There, no, they're knocked out immediately. Boop, boop. So, both unconscious. Very good. It's a no bones day, everybody. Come on. <laughs> well, at least you're not going to get eaten by rats. And look, other times I have put you in the dumpster, and I will again. One, because it's kind of fitting, because they're always really mean to me, but also... Come on. Uh... But also, because snoring dumpsters are really, really funny. I, you know I bought a dozen of those fancy rugs from the weaver's market. If you'll join me at my tiny manor, we'll put them to good use. Hmm. Ugh, rug burn. Oh well. said to give you his regards that donkey face cretin can open his wrist for all i care jesus did you bring me something a silver cigarette case like we agreed no listen i can't go on doing this stealing for you i'll lose my job 
Do you want to be a servant all your life? You're always talking about leaving Karnaka on a big white boat, never to come back. You spend your days polishing silver cutlery. Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship? What if they find us? You know I'll protect you, just like when we were kids. I'll think about it. I promise. Conservatory. What do those walls hide? Oh, so much. Um, yeah, you know, because um, Morley and Tivia are both like, uh, we don't recognize like strange empresses that you like picked up somewhere. Um, they're well, they're gonna they're gonna be at war. So, that's fun. Tell you what, I'm gonna save here because there's an escaper in there whose AI is a little finicky. Tell you what else is finicky? Hitting a singular blood fly in midair with a dart. I always love it when that happens. I wonder, can I... Wait. Can I use Mesmerize on that one? And then hope I don't get stung to death. Eh. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh, does it not work when there's no... Okay. I think that means that it doesn't work if there is no, um, yeah, no spirit to enthrall. So either that's because the nest keeper is, I mean, at least right now, asleep. Um, don't kill him. Uh, or it's because it, the nest keepers don't count maybe i'm not sure okay i'll try and be careful and not set fire to that one because i don't want the nest keeper to burn to death even though i mean how many do i have just the one. Cool. People of Karnaka. Some of you have questioned the stricter mind of my citizen. New tax being levied by the Grand Circle Guard. Let me answer all of this without rabble And by out of thin air, we mean we trafficked children 
from all over the empire. Cool. Just unconscious. I will put you here. There we go. That's. I mean, that would be an amazing thumbnail. combination costs a little bit, but more than worth what you get out of it. So that's a suckle of of Brianna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southern winds. Looks like Luca doesn't have anything else to say for the moment. Nice. Let's have some lizard. And, I mean, yeah, you know, like, mines are collapsing. I mean, not only because... I mean, yeah, if you're overworking people, then there will be human error. Because, you know, people who haven't slept in, eight, in 48 hours are going to make mistakes. Um, but mostly it's just, you know... Because they have to mine so fast that they don't get enough time to properly build out uh, the shafts. Which means that they are very, very prone to collapse. Uh, and that's not good. Right? I mean, this will come as a surprise to Luca, but that's not good. Did anyone ever find out what happened to Burlton and Lieutenant Culver's? Oh. They probably ran off, you ask me. Must have had a thing over each other. She went missing a day before he did, and someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. Mm -hmm. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnak is leaking people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. That's almost philosophical. Okay, one of you is gonna have to start working. Leaving you here where the rats can get you. But I also can't take you inside yet because there is a dude. Emily. 
Oh, no. Oh, oh shoot, we're stuck. <laughs> Honestly, a bit stuck. Oh. Sure, just, you know. Block your sword out of Emily. Thankfully, the civilians are. Not super quick to freak out most of the time. Okay, so you two are safe over there. Just gonna. Okay. Enough to go from here? Fine. The soundscape, like, I mean, in every single level, but I love them, like, especially in this mission and then the Grand Palace mission, like the night missions. It's just an incredible soundscape. Ah, let's sit up straight, shall we? Alrighty. Here's a bunch of these. Okay, yeah, let's wash her the book. Howling bolts, eh? Alright, so you just gotta... hell someone really didn't want anybody to find this bonk To be fair, if this was my secret... Oh yeah, that song... Uh, the King in the Month of Ice. We're gonna... We're gonna see that again. Or hear it, rather. Oh, we know what comes next. Look at you, making your way across this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated beggar. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But just before mother and father married her off so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Hmm. Lovely, thank you. Yeah, and also, you know, because I didn't mention this, I think, um when we found Vera Moray's uh, diary at Adamire, 
Um, Veramore being uh, Granny Rags from the first game. An emperor, you know, uh, was once vying for uh, Veramore's hand. Well, apparently she declined, and her family wasn't happy about it, which I guess is how she ended up marrying to, uh, being married, or, well, being married off to her mumbling, dreary husband. And that same fate would have awaited Brianna if she hadn't met Delilah. I mean, we're getting on just fine. But it's always funny, like, I mean, especially when you're playing Ghost, or as this game calls it, Shadow and Clean Hands, it's always like, okay, when do I get strong arms? When do I get strong arms? <laughs> well, what was Afflict Dust District residents? There was years in the dam how always fight for control in the streets with skirmishes every day, assassinations, torture, and so forth. After a while, we just decided to withdraw and let the two have it out. Sealed it all up behind a few well-placed walls of light. Cool. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of expert governance that I would expect from the Grand Sakona Guard. Hmm, <clears throat> howlers don't play. Winnow, you want to know what happened to the owner before you? When he says, no more payouts and that's that, we says, all right, you got us, and left him alone. Then we paid one of his friends to take him fish in a week later. They were out on the walls all day, real good day, caught a lot of fish. Coming back, his friend gave him a letter from us and ran off. In it, I spelled out how the bait they was using all day was bits of his mother. Howlers don't play, you piece of shit. You got three days. Blue jaw Jake. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you don't play, you're also assholes. I mean, to quote Ocean's 11, you know, this used to be civilized. You'd hit a guy, he'd whack you, done. But no. But guys like Benedict and the Howlers, they don't just come after you. They go after your mom. Okay, there's another watchtower. Scanning the street, thankfully, and not us over here. Who am I? I'm a stocking without a leg, that's one. The negative self talk again. I mean, yeah, I don't have a too high opinion of these guys, but jeez. But, you know, lots of problems in the world could be solved if people had more reliable access to therapy. And we're willing to actually go. Good morning. Oh. Okay, once again, whoop, no one appears to be freaking out. That is how we like it. Oh. It always creeps me out when and Dishonored the player character doesn't just, you know, mantle, but just does a little hop and you're like, <laughs> that's how I 
fall off things. And there's so many of them. And if I were playing High Chaos, it'd be so easy to just shoot those whale oil tanks and be done with that one. God, the soundscape is just so cool. My favorite cue, like in, in every Dishonored game, I have a favorite sound cue. In Dishonored 1, it's in the flooded districts, um, a sound that sounds a lot like um, uh, one of the sound cues from Goldeneye. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just nostalgia, I'm not sure, but I just love it. Um, and then in here, I think you hear it more um, in the Grand Palace level. But it's like, um, you know, just a very specific sound cue and then a woman crying like, don't lie to me. And then another very specific sound cue. <laughs> It's just, I don't know. It's my favorite. Can't explain it, but there it is. Okay, can I? No, we can't. Nope. Well. Okay, so enough for you two? Okay. Oop. Just oop. far reached right past them as they were coming out of the whoop. I really try never to like check my stats so often because I just gotta you know, rely on it. Or, you know, just be so sneaky that that, you know, alert meter never actually goes up. Thank you. Boop. Is there another one going up the... Yeah, there's another one. There we are. But this episode, I'm doing a little bit more checking. No, there's no one in here. Where's the apartment where there is people in there? Ah, Grand Palace, yeah. Also at night. Oh, do I have, do I have hair across my forehead again? Like last episode, just... Strand of hair stuck to my forehead all day. Do 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 do. Yes, yes, I can hear you. But I gotta pick stuff up first. Alright, so, the shopkeeper had an associate who uh, wanted to try and figure out how to steal a prototype that's currently on exhibition. <gasps> Ooh, Lucky Needle is good. Slight chance to recover sleep darts. That one is excellent. Spirit water. Uh, yep, that's fine. Stolen breath. <laughs> Pulling enemies toward you with far reach is now stealthy and quiet. Far reach consumes more mana for all uses. No, no, no. No, no, no. Besides, I'm not so good on the catching things out of midair. 
I have a new assignment for one with your unique talents. I'd like you to retrieve the old Roseboro prototype on display at the Royal Conservatory. It's likely well protected, but I'll double the finder's fee. Bring it back to me at my shop. Mm -hmm. So that was him. There's another map. Do 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 do. Once again. Through the, the kitchen. I wanted to visit this place with Wyman. Poor Lucia. She wanted to raise the blood fire, but cannot. Have I tried to make growing counts for weeks? She gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Pernay. Delilah wears the outside of Mark. In some she can be closed down to work. It doesn't seem fair. Think about working your fingers while weaving nets, or raising cows to slaughter. Any of the gifts we receive is better than living under the feet. That's true and fine. A wise way to look at things. But it won't help Lucinda rise any higher in Delilah's favor. To sleep. There you go. Yeah, it is very much. You know, it's it's understandable, and it is canon that a lot of the women um, that are here with Delilah and Brianna um, are part of the coven because they had nowhere else to go. Oh! Well. Um, no and would otherwise have been, you know, would have been worked to death somewhere else. So, you know, it is a matter of fleeing from something and you know certainly some of them enjoy it you know the same way that there have been whalers who you know called the assassinations they were contracted for justice you know and, and were proud of what they did for others it was just a job you know, and better than being servants or worse. Um, so it's, uh, you know, and again, they're, I mean, you know, it's, it's better, it might be better than what they were fleeing from. But it's still, you know, Delilah is still just using them and yeah and I'm, I'm never sure whether you know they're competing for her favor for the sake of ambition or competing or you know whether Delilah demands it of them I'm not actually sure Again, let's hit the blood fly, not the nest, huh? Oh good, and we have one incendiary bolt left. Oh well. It'll be fine.
Bugs, bugs, bugs. What about runes, actually? Oh, we have three. Hmm. So I mean, we could just fully upgrade Domino first, and then put some points into the rest, because Domino is definitely what I use most. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Stuart! Oh, I didn't check which bone charm I picked up just now, actually. <laughs> Whirlwind. <laughs> Sword attack speed is slightly faster. Yeah, not kind of, not that kind of playthrough. But hey, at least we got loads of whalebone for when I do start crafting. I had, on the Xbox, I had a, um, a bug one time where the witches, like these three, weren't hostile. Or at least, or I think, I don't know, it was, I'd used the oraculum and knocked everyone out. But this, like this witch, that's, yeah, she, um, she was, um, for some reason, she was not unconscious, and she wasn't hostile. And she was just walking around. And that was incredible. Um, I only got, like, a little bit of capture of that. Like, I didn't think to just let her run around for, uh, for 15 minutes. Um... But yeah, that was that was so cool. Oh shit. But I approached Delilah to do such a thing. Coming back, it doesn't seem possible. That's all. My dear Orlando, some people see doors through the night and you see them all. Sure. Um they were talking about Paolo and his uh, little disappearing trick. Um so the thing is, that lovely machine over there, the oraculum, um, well, it can be tampered with, but you can also use it um, while it is still working as intended. And I do really want to do that because um, the effigies in there have some cool stuff to tell, uh, to say and to tell you. Um, and you get an achievement for it. Uh, so, but that does mean that I have to knock out absolutely everybody who could possibly hear or see me. And there's lots of them. That got, uh, uh. And with her, I have to be careful. Well, I can't reach her from here anyway. Um, Cause they do tend to fall off and occasionally to their death. So, yeah, I'm gonna save. 
because I don't want any of them to die. Okay, I think everyone's... Uh oh. Okay, they are now searching. And they can... They can... I'm not sure what their power is called, but they can blink slash transverse. I'm not sure that they ever, like, come up here while they're searching, but... Let's just be careful. Also, there is stuff. Hardiness. Also don't need it, but that's fine. Attack that. Okay, it's true that the plague was spread by rats, but some natural philosophers now believe that it was also carried on wind currents. As such, we can be thankful that in addition to bringing us wealth from silver, the mines also protected us from the greatest plague in living memory. So, okay, so mining dust was found in trace amounts in Sokronos even during the time of Dunwall's Great Crisis. So, uh, mm? yeah, sure, the silver dust on the wind protected you from the plague. Uh-huh. It's good that this universe doesn't have 5G, I guess. Oh! Someone else turned around and found a body. Oh, I hope she's not- Let me- let me check my stats for a sec, because I'm... Not sure. Nope, no one's dead. Nice. <laughs> We love to see it. Okay. Ooh. Doing sword, sword twirls, huh? Ooh! Oh, shoot. What did I say about them coming up here? What did I say? Ooh, okay, don't set her on fire and don't throw her down the elevator shaft. If we can do... Well, she'll be fine. <laughs> oh, Grumble. You got lucky. Okay, so I'm thinking that was the one that was sitting there. And then one was uh, always sitting down on the shelves there, but I'm not sure where she went. Did I... No, I did check on the bone charm. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, maximum health has increased. Uh... Look, if I end up in combat, I have to load anyway, so... Yeah. And, like... Generally, even if I fall off something and nearly break my neck, it's fine. All right, those two are where they're supposed to be. Mm, no, no idea where that one went. Maybe she's patrolling the lower levels, which would suit me just fine. Okay, let's... There we go. <gasps> Got my sleep dart back. I love it. Okay. Okay, here's the thing. Like I said, you can catch things. So what if... Okay. I didn't catch that, but apparently no one minded. So should be fine. Oh, Chris, where am I going to get back? I beat the 
incantation will work just as well. Please don't immolate. Thank you. Can I have that back? Excellent. Whew. Okay. Jim Dosh was tiresome. How does this even work? Eh. If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. Mm hmm. Right, so this could be tampered with. Yes, Ashworth could. could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. Mm -hmm. That is what we're trying to do. Although before we do that, we do have to get a witch off a giant turtle. Because you know we've we've knocked out a fair few now, but there's still more outside. And basically, the effect of cutting uh, Ashworth off from the void is that all the witches also lose their powers, and it knocks them out, um, and all the like the Gravehound traps uh, disappear. Um, but yeah, they do fall off things, and if one of them happens to be on a really tall thing, then she did so. Let's see. So that's what the Oracular Sisters do. Um, you know, both the Abbey and the Oracular Order have a thing where, you know, they call the Void and the Outsider, like, the reasons uh, or the cause of all of life's problems. Um, but the things they do, like the, the Overseer's music boxes and, you know, this, you know, I mean, these are effigies um of you know dead irregular sisters in order to you know brianna plugs herself into into their prophecies like this um but you know the irregular sisters themselves there's got to be some black magic going on or else you know their prophecies wouldn't you know wouldn't have any meaning um so yeah so this is what she's doing. She's listening to them, and through this device, she wants to influence them uh, in order to, um, well, for one, cause a rift between the Oracular Order and the Abbey, um, and also to get the Oracular Order on their side. Whatever that means. Thank you. 
Let's see. We will find out more about that uh, when we get back to Dunwall. Yeah, they don't have any more to don't have any more to impart. But yeah, there's a uh, there's more to say about that. Well, one about the high overseer about Yulkulan, who either as we speak is dying or will die in this assault on Dunwall Tower. And uh, yeah, there's there's more about that or more to that secret mission. This this is what I love about this honor games because you know you you can you can't play without powers. Um, in the first game, it's sort of unofficial, where you know you just you get blank and dark vision, um, but you know if you don't buy any powers except for those, um, then that counts as a flesh and steel run. Um, but yeah, in this game, you can outright reject. The outsider's mark and it's just it's so many lovely touches in each level where the verticality just allows you to get everywhere even if you don't you know even if you can't teleport all right so we do not under any circumstances push the big red button Instead, we do this so that we don't get knocked over the head when we pick this up and deliver it for shiny coin. Alrighty. Now there is a lot of stuff to loot in here, and I will. But... Can we open these? No. First order of business is getting those lenses. Quietly, quietly. Brianna, what happened to Jim Dash? <gasps> I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know that I forgive him. No, my dear, it's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? <laughs> Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. The vice overseer Burns' suspicions were right. She won't affect things. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses, thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still have the old lenses and cast off big stretch in my workshop, but Jim Dash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. A tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. We need biscuits soon. Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. Mm. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. 
the pool. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my Empress. So, that's that. Hmm. It seems rather rude to die here, whoever you were. <laughs> okay. Um... This, I suppose, is the effigy that uh, Ashworth wanted to make to influence. Um... Looks like Kieran Jindosh made these alternate lenses for Ashworth's device. Mm -hmm. Now I can use them to sabotage it. Um, to influence Sokolov in the same way. Oh, oh, here's a here's an article about Jindosh. Kim and Jindosh loses his smarts in a bold experiment gone wrong. Servants are gleefully coming forward with stories of the once great inventor now barely able to navigate from room to room. Gentle as a lamb. Yeah, so now that he can't terrorize his staff anymore. Okay, so we have the lenses. But we can't do this yet. Let's see. I suppose some sniping is in order. Let's see, are there two or three? Okay, just the two. Because we don't want them to wake up. Horrid little things. Which route is best to take? <laughs> Don't need grenades. Hmm. Suckle love in the new age, is it? I might have shot her in the hand. I think I did. Oh, that's, uh... Snow White in her glass coffin. Oof. 
Oh, there's more back here. Forgot. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, tell you what. I forget how effective the pistol is. Okay. Gonna carry you aside. So I don't accidentally stab you. There we go. It's like barely any of you, you're not even a swarm. Have the key. And there's no getting in this way. Okay. Oh, there would be through there. But that's fine. Can we get under the turtle? We can get under the turtle. Incredible. Oop. I thought there was a witch for a second. Alright. Well, that's not gonna help against Greyhound anyway. Okay. Slip darts? No, stinging bolts. Fine. Yes. That's a whale bone. Any sleep darts, anybody? <laughs> Easy money. Oh, so that would be the shopkeeper's associate, wouldn't it? Yeah. Cheeky. There's a bust of Aramis Stilton. But turn just that way so that you can't see him yet. Okay. Is that where? Mm. This way is easier. There is a tiny window. Have I picked up a map yet? Yeah. Don't need it. Alright, there's the key. Reflections by Sokolov. <laughs> Vermin problem. <laughs> Curator Ash was so awfully sorry to tell you this, but there's something each night been nibbling on some of our exhibits. The big one, that looks like clouds and swine, if you'll pardon my untrained eye. It's the rats at the walls. I sure hope nothing is ruined. I don't know what they like so much about it to come back every night, need more of it. I was wondering what it's made of, but whatever it is, it's tempting for the little bastards. Glenn, night custodian. Aw, I hope Glenn's okay. Oh. Give me 
chat back. Thank you. Okay, this is one of the ways up to the witch on the turtle. Was that later? Yeah. Nope. Ah, uh, then uh, maybe that's when you come back. When you play as Billy. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. Eh. Right, so. I mean, number one, we don't want to get eaten by those witches outside, and two, we don't want the one sitting on the turtle, or, well, standing on the turtle, there she is, to have a horrible fall. Come on, she's... Hmm. Maybe I could try... Hmm, don't think I can get up there from here. That's sad. Hold on, I'm gonna give myself a little save just so I can experiment a little bit more. up at anyway. I can't really... I'm not sure if I can get behind her. Also, she's looking up at her, so she'd know. myself done here again. I double note them so I didn't have to wait for all of them to rush towards the body and they were all fine and there was still of course enough charge in there neat alrighty so they're all okay I think now I've pretty much knocked out every single witch except for Brianna Anyway, <sighs> so you know the oh, that flipping thing, of course. Those are blood briars, and I hate them, and I'm not going to.
try and sneak past that one because I have better things to do. Um, but yeah, the shortcut with the oraculum is very much for, you know, if you don't want to... Sleep darts? No, bottle. If you don't want to... Like, do it all yourself. You can let the oraculum do your work for you. Alright. Here's some interesting stuff. Ashworth journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. I was over late there a little bit by um, uh, by Emily prompting you to look at stuff, but um, you know when Delilah fell to the assassin doubt, <laughs> yeah, she sure did. And then instead of telling Corvo about it, Doubt just kept that to himself because of course he did. Now, who could that be? I wonder. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's be thorough. in the elevator? No. Alright. Oh, stun mines. Pace to look at whatever's on the walls as well. Cause there's so much stuff in here that you can steal. So much stuff. Right, you two are fine. So are you. Thankfully, Ashworth never leaves her office. Nor even when she's there does she go upstairs. So... Oh yeah. Sorry about that, sir. Okay. Anything in here? No. Right. 
Yeah. That... Some of those things. I mean, it's perfectly possible to, like... Miss that walking past uh, the first time, but yeah, some of the stuff. If you've seen it a couple times, you don't even notice anymore. All right. Always a big fan of the drive-by plundering while we're through here anyway. Might as well pick these up. Can I do this without? Mm. I'll do that when Brianna is. Hi, Stilton. There he is. Stilton and Duke Luca Abel. Windbreak. Yeah, that's the name of it. Windbreak inauguration. Because yeah, it's, it's literally shaped here so that it breaks the wind. It's pretty cool. And look. They've done to mom's portrait. What would you and father advise if you were both here? Sometimes I dream we're all together again. Let's stay away from the office directly because those hounds can and will smell you. That was, I was surprised earlier that they weren't already <laughs> giving it a sniff. to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the void. No turning back now. All that's left to do is hit the switch, and Ashworth should be powerless. of the void, the Lila, it was everything I had. Leave me be. Leave me alone. You've ruined me. I'm no threat to you now, to anyone. I'm no threat to you now, to anyone. Leave me be. I'm no threat to you okay. now. To anyone. So that's that. We've taken away her connection to the void. And with it, everything she could once do. Oh, what happens if we pull on that orb? Nothing? Cool. Yeah, 
so she's, you know, she's still conscious, but she won't even attack you now. She's just gonna talk to you. No. There is, however, someone else. We can talk to. Namely, as if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily, little black sparrow, free from your cage at last. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain. You don't even know what you've done. A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. Delilah, I will take apart everything you've built until I have what's mine. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, child. I'm not only going to restore things to the way they were, I'm going to make them better. And that's the... that's kind of the horrible thing. Um... Because, like... You know, she makes it all about herself, and it's like, oh, it's too much to bear to say Brianna reduced to this. But, and it's really, really great in the voice acting that it's just like, oh, she's, she's no use to me anymore now, so I'm just gonna abandon her. Yeah, Delilah, when we can't talk, I write. Right? And like, I mean, Brianna wasn't a named character in the first game, or, you know, in Doubt's DLC, but, you know, that there wasn't, there also wasn't like someone else like being her right hand or anything. So I think they did really well in like, you know, slotting Brianna in here. Um, like as um, as Delilah's right hand and you know as as her partner as her lover and it's just yeah it's really obvious that you know Brianna is my fires burn within Brianna's marrow yeah because I'm not sure Oh yeah, no the well, I'm not sure if there's a if there's a Brianna painting by Delilah. I'm not sure there is one. Um but you know that one um was was here, like Pride of Place. And I already took that good. Um it's just you know so obvious that you know she misses her but you know obviously Delilah has to be in Dunwall to be Empress but you know she could have could have taken Brianna with her because I mean that oraculum it doesn't have to be here I'm not sure if the oracular sisters are based out of Karnaka or out of Sirkonos and that's why, you know, just going by distance is easier. I'm, I'm not sure whether there's, you know, like a, an in-universe explanation for it that she had to be here, but, you know, obviously she missed her. Especially after, you know, only just getting her back. And then, 
you know, Delilah's just so, so callous about it. Now that she's no use to her anymore, well, that's that then. Eh. Oh, can't open that. Fine. So much whalebone. And sleep darts. Good. advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. Yep. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days. And then doubt happened. Sleep dart, nice. Some more grapes. What? Oh, walked through the fire, didn't I? <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, I think a few grapes can't fix. So we've looked at everything up here. Let's just check. Oh, we can use the heart on Brianna. Push out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few hours. Can we use it on those around you cannot see? I am here. And not here when you call to me. Oh. <gasps> right. I knew there was more stuff. A small anchor. I mean, you know, Emily says, I'm going to make things better, and I'm going through here just smashing everything Everyone is just a pawn to Delilah, even though she claims to love. Okay, so... We've looted everything, but I think, if I remember right... Choking her kind of just makes her mad. There we go. Okay, got the sleep dart back and this. Great. Here we are. 
Do 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 do. Whoop. All right. This stretch of road is a little bit tricky. Because it's difficult to get these lads with Domino. And honestly... Oh. Mesmerize worked just fine. So I'm just going to hope... That... Uh oh. Okay. Mesmerize is still going on behind me. I need her to turn around. Excellent. Let's get up there. Okay, they're back to moving. They're grand. Right. Absolutely nobody look at me. We wish not to be perceived this day. Boop. Seamless. Absolutely fine. That stretch of road is, um, uh, can be a little tight with the far reach aiming, so it's always best to, like, not to try to, like, get between, like, a, a lamppost and, and a wall. Or, like, a lamppost and a doorway. So, it's always good to just take your time. But be swift, you know? Oh, what? Buddy, oh my... Uh, am I in absolute thin air? Okay, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's like I far reached... somewhere. Okay. Are you all okay? Unconscious, unconscious, very good. They come from, oh, came from downstairs, gotcha. Okay, so we have to Take our bounty, the Roseboro prototype, down to the black market shop. Boop. And sell it to him. Welcome. Uh, don't worry, we are perfectly safe in my shop. Take your time. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Mm -hmm. Your acquaintance didn't make it. Yeah, it no. is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not worry. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First, uh, yeah. this fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Gimme. Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. Okay. Good on those. Um, just no gonna need get to wrap to, you, I suppose. Just in case. Mm. Yeah, there'll be some sleep darts lying around where we're going. Blood flies are worse here than any district in Kanaka. And it used to be such a prosperous district, too. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. 
Ooh, masterwork. Well. Enables black market shops to sell bolts that stun and blind enemies for a time. Howling bolts. Um, I mean, yeah, they are, because they stun and blind. They are handy to... Um, uh, basically to, to distract people, but it is also... Very, uh. Well. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. It's not very quiet. Let's put it that way. Oh! Thank you. Uh, come in, my friend. What was that? Piercing Always insult. Always a delight to see you. Ooh, these are good. Um, I mean, we don't need the piercing insult, but the long distance lover. Um. Is great because you know ah, sniping you people. Blueprints for better weaponry. You know sniping people from a distance is nice. Okay. Need to get that one. Fine. Choice. All those valuable artworks locked up in the conservatory where no one can see them. Truly a shame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just liberating them. I know. Um, but yeah, when using the spyglass, you have perfect aim, which is, especially at range, also really, really nice for, uh, slip dash shots. So... Alright. Oh! Oh, well, don't look down here, whatever you do. Oh, we haven't... Hmm. I can see why you like her. She's almost as secretive as you. Make it even faster. She wasn't always a ship captain. It was years ago. The two were inseparable. There was no food. But there was love. Those brief days on the street with her childhood friend. The happiest time she's known. Megan, she can be trusted. To a point. But I cannot see past the anger. How much rage can hide things? There was always hunger back then. On the streets of Dunwall. Hunger and fear. She learned to be brutal, to survive. Back in Elmore, she almost killed the crime boss called Slackjaw. Once, while he was getting a shave. Some nights, she wakes, choking, hearing the screams of a young girl, watching her mother die. She was a smuggler, and worse before that. She has not always chosen her companions wisely, but she truly cares for Sokol. I can feel it. I can see why she cares so much for Sokol. Both of them are trying to atone for their past, but maybe there are things beyond forgiveness. She has secrets I will not reveal. She may tell you in time. But it was not her hand that held the knife. Things would have been different for her if her young friend had survived the attack all those years ago. She is a woman of four of three fathers. A drunkard. A killer. And an artist. She fell in with the wrong crowd many years ago in Dunwall. The things she did. She can't forgive herself. She... She was with them. On that day. A man haunts her dreams. Like a father to her. 
A man with a scar. He hides himself. Even from me. This one has a greater destiny. Beyond Dunwall. Beyond Karnaka. And I told you all there is to know about this woman. So two and two makes... So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos and Delilah. Okay, so nine bodies detected, but we are further up on the stealth scale than last mission? Was it last mission where we were like two bodies detected and we were like halfway down? Who cares? Whoop whoop! Looking good, even on the money. Nice. Heh, <laughs> shrewd negotiations, got the best price for the Roseboro prototype. Parley with Delilah, talk to her statue. Witch no more, forever severed Brianna's Ashworth linked to the Delilah's magic. Spying overseer has found the outpost. The advice overseer Byrne was using to spy on Brianna Ashworth. Nice. Well, that was another successful outing to the Royal Conservatory, which is one of my, I mean, it is one of my favorite missions, and it is also just one of my favorite levels. Um, I didn't even, well, I did, I did some just walking around, but it's really worth just taking in, you know, everything, like, all the artifacts that they have there. Um, and it's just, it's a beautiful, I like architecturally, it's a beautiful, beautiful space. Well, that was episode five of our Dishonored 2 Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment on your way out. It's really much appreciated. Um, if you want to support this channel, go to patreon.com forward slash Marabella or ko-fi.com forward slash grumble and check out what's on offer there. Uh, hit me up on Twitter at underscore Anna Marabella. All the news about the Let's Play go up there. And if you have any last minute suggestions um, for, you know, the late game, get them in now. In the future, I'll see you next week. Thank you again for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.